One thing that comes from estimation is um, looking at the smallest and largest possible answers that you could potentially get. By that, uh, I can highlight it quite well with a simple example. Let's say we have a farmer, and he has a field. And this field, he measures, uh, let's say it's a rectangular field, he measures the length of it, okay, to the nearest 10 metres, okay? And he says that it is 80 metres to the nearest 10 metres. But then actually he measures the other side, um, this length, um, to the nearest metre. Okay? And he says, right, okay, well that is um, 40, well let's say 40 metres to the nearest metre. Here's one meter. Here's new unit, if you will. So he's done these two measurements, and then we say to ourselves, "Okay, well, let's work out what the area is." And he says, "Right, okay, well, the area then is eighty times forty. Okay, so I measure the width by the length for to get the area of a rectangle." 8 times 4 is 32, so I have 3,200 square metres of land, okay? And that's what the farmer then says. However, because he has used uh, accuracy uh, issues, and he has accuracy issues with his measurements, because he's measured 80 metres through his 10 metres, and 40 metres to the nearest 1 metre, these might not be accurate enough. These might not be quite right. And especially if you've got to pay a certain amount per square metre of land, then obviously this is going to change depending on how large the piece, the piece of land is. So the 80 metres to the nearest 10 metres, on your number line, Let's say we had 70, 80, 90 metres, okay? And to the nearest 10 metres, it's 80. However, if you look at this, it could be anywhere between that 75 metres, because 75 metres is 80 metres to the nearest 10 metres, okay? Anything below that, 74.9 or 74.6 is going to be closer to 70. But the lowest it could possibly be is 75. The highest it could possibly be is 84.9999999999 uh, and going on for infinity, which is as close to 85 metres as you could possibly get. So we could say that approximately, well, it's between 75 and 85 metres. For the 40 metres to the nearest metre, we're looking at 39, 40, 41 metres. So either side of the 40 to the nearest metre, it could have been at its least 39.5 metres. And at its greatest, it could have been 40.4 Nine 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 etc., which is about forty point five, which is close to forty point five as you like. So, if you are actually asking what is the smallest possible area that it could have been, then that would be the smallest of both of them multiplied together. That would give you the smallest possible area. So 75 by 39.5 instead of the 80 by 40. So 75 times 39.5 is 2,962.5. OK? 
okay, which is, as you can see, a significant difference to the 3,200 meters squared that he believed it was. If you were looking for the largest possible area, then you would be looking at the two larger lengths. So 85 times 40.5, which is actually 3,442.5 square metres. So you can see that based on how accurate the farmer has measured his field, there is a significant difference between the smallest possible area it could have been and the largest possible area. Okay, so this is obviously going to make a big difference if he's looking at how many um, cows or horses or sheep he could fit in this field, he use this field, or crops, um, or how much he's going to be paying for that land, okay, based on the estimate of the land area and how it's been measured. Okay, so how it is measured and how accurately will make big differences to the answers at the end of the day. So if you're asked to think about what would be the smallest possible area in this case, then the smallest possible area is 2,962.5. And it is based on looking at the smallest 80 could possibly be to the nearest 10 would be 75 metres. And the smallest 40 metres could be to the nearest 1 metre is 39.5 metres. Okay? And being able to understand how that works will allow you to access these types of problems.